Um, but we will turn them on. Oh, they're officially on. Um, I think I had them a nice green color. And you can get some we'll get some go-go shapes, but those won't show up until we uh, go back to advanced mode. And then by using the movement, we can move them around. So I really like using this fixture control here, um, along with the X1 3D, just as a way to come up with ideas. So that when I go to sequence and kind of save these um, effects that I'm coming up with, um, I kind of know what I'm looking for. So let's just go back to advanced mode. You can see it's a little bit jerky. Normally this runs like a baby, but as I say, I am recording audio and video right now. Um, so yeah, you can see really cool, pretty lights. We'll just take that down again. And if we, maybe if I take those, all good. Okay, so those are um, how to use moving lights and. LEDs. Um, these sphere lights are the ones at the back there and they really all they do is change color but um, I had mine a nice kind of golden color just flashing on and off and I thought they looked pretty cool. Um, and then we've got our big max here which are on the side. Uh, ooh. So if we bring the dimmer up, they should turn it on. Oh, sorry. And we will open the shutters. Uh, it's important if a light's got a shutter, then you're going to need to open it up for them to work. And then our dimmer will take effect. And I had them pointed at Mr. DJ. Like so. And those blue spotlights getting I would probably play with my colours a little bit, so they're a little bit ugly. Um, but luckily we've got a lot of colour options. And then maybe some nice go -bos. So we'll go back to advanced mode and you can see. Oh we've got the dimmers really low. Uh, no we don't. It's just the pinkness. Yeah, so if I was to turn the gobos off, you can see we've got much stronger colour. It was because I had such a thin gobo. Yeah, all right, I'm just going to make it look normal again. So that was really what I was, those are the kind of the pieces that I used to create this show. Um, really simple as you can see you, you know you can add just heaps heaps more lights in than that um, turn those ones off and turn everything off because it's a bit much and those are the active scans okay. cool. and then we've just got our two blue power cans at the back there what I thought we might try and do is just make a really simple effect for them because maybe we'll... yeah so what I might do now is just show you again the show that I built um, and so I can go into a little bit more detail what was going on and I might just use the audio mixer to bring the volume down a little bit because it was quite loud last time and I can still talk over it. So we'll come back here. I didn't make a very long show, so... So again, look at that week. If you have an advanced mode, it's looking a lot prettier. 
but this is a pretty good way to show you what's going on. So, I've got my blue par cans on the back here, which are on a chaser. Um, and I've got these guys on a chaser too, so they're going on a lot for the music. And then our lasers dropping in with the music, and we've got some shapes that these moving heads are um, following. And then also we've got the corner moving heads are going to come back in pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, the corner ones, and they've got a chaser on the light. And really that was all I did. That was it. Um, and you can see, we'll just make it work out a little bit again. But really, I think it's quite effective. Um, simple, but effective. That's what I was going for. So, what I think we'll do now is um, I'll just take you through uh, how it was that I was able to. Um, to get the timeline show running because this is all yeah it's all just simple triggers running from this timeline here it's really just when to turn on when to turn off that's all it's telling you um, so maybe what we'll do is we will open up a new show so that I don't muck up anything with that one so we'll add a line, and what I want to do is make a chaser for our two little LEDs at the back there. No, I'm really gonna, just going to get rid of that light. Now for some reason uh, this light doesn't have a dimmer. The manufacturer never made a dimmer. It's either on or it's off. Um, so I think what I will do is just point it at the back wall. Yep, it's in timeout now. There we go face the wall. So here we've got our two blue LEDs at the back, these ones here. What I want to do is select them and go to this little star here which is the effect generator. So we've got a few things, we can do some color gradient stuff, um, chases so you can put a chaser on the dimmer to make them flash, you could um, and also you can affect the colors here as well. Um, so what I want to do is put a chaser on the dimmer. Oh, sorry. First you've got to enable that you want to do that. You can't do it by mistake. And then we're going to select the dimmer and we're going to go left to right. And don't really need to worry about these intervals and stuff here because it's it's nice and easy to edit that. So you can see straight away um, it's going quick left to right. Now I think if we make this say 500 much slower. Um, but basically I don't I don't tend to edit my speeds in in this here. Um, it's not really necessary. And we can also, if we want, use um, an oscillator. So that is really just on and off. That's the chaser. It's going one and then the other. Um, it's also possible to do enable it, dimmer. And then we can choose, say, a sine wave so that you get a much smoother progression. With um, park hands and just doing something as simple as on, off, left, right, on, off, it's not really going to be so important to um, take a sine wave. So I'm not going to do oscillator this time. We might come back to that for one of our moving lights. We'll just stick with this chaser, left to right, dimmer, push play to make sure that it's working. It is. And then we'll go up here, which generates the effect. And we're going to call it rear P64. Oops, if we can spell P64 Chaser. Now it's pretty important to get a good name 
um, on your lighting sequence because my sequence was generated and added in the object library and then when we see we go and take a look at the object library which is here uh, we've got quite a few because it's basically um, all of the sequences that I've made while making this show so here it is we're a p64 chaser I'm going to drag it into the show here. Um, so you'll see it's pretty short, and that is because when we open it up, it has got two instructions on, and then left one on, off, right one on. So we can have a look at that by double clicking on it, and you'll see these are our, um, our two cue points, and that's really what they're doing left one on, right one off. Right one on. So when we push play, you'll be able to see. Very simple. And <laughs> this is where I tend to edit the times. So I've got some options here. If we so if we go here to edit. Oh, that's the, excuse me. That's the whole properties for this chaser. So it's currently it's set on loop. You can put in some other commands. What I wanted to do was edit the selected steps. So now we might give it a whole second um, that it's on for, and I'm going to put in a little bit of fade time just so that it's not quite so abrupt. It's a really short fade time, but I think it should look good. And I'm going to choose that for all of the steps, so it's going to happen for both of them. And now it's a little bit longer, and when we play this. Okay, it's gonna give me nothing. Okay, now I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, except I do have one theory, one little bug that I have in the program with the park hands. And this is actually something that relates to Oh, here we go, it's back. Okay, so now when we play Right, I'm not entirely sure what I've done there, so let's just try and load that again. We'll go to our library. We'll drag in our chaser. which as you can see is doing our one two step um, and yeah so when we push play you can see that it is it's giving us those two beats left and right and what we're able to do is <coughs> duplicate those steps as many times as we want so say we do 20 then now you'll see that we've created a much longer sequence for the light. Oh, it's being a little bit funny because I'm recording. But that's something that I find is sometimes, um, particularly with park hands, they just need to be jogged. They just need to be reminded that they're on. So if you just kind of move the dimmer up and down, they'll kind of wake up again and realize that they're on. And you'll see we've created a really simple um, left to right tracer.